if I look back and I reflect on it, I, I still can't believe it happened. You know, we set out to make Saw 1 primarily because I felt that we were getting screwed over by the studios on the bigger movies that I had produced. I had just finished John Q for New Line with Denzel, and I remember getting the first producer's statement saying, wow, I owe them $22 million. Well, that's funny. I made the movie for 28, grossed over 100 worldwide, and yet I owe them 22. I was like, I'm done. Screw it. I was, I was convinced that I didn't want to make any more movies. I was pissed. And we, had, our goal was let's find a smaller project that we could do ourselves and control and own and do it our way. And that's when Saw came around. How did that situation resolve itself, by the way? With New Line? Mm -hmm. I think, I think it's now seven years later, and I think now instead of owing them 22 million. I think the last statement I got, I now owe them $28 million. <laughs> because there's interest running on that 22 so it just, well, once you hit a point, it just gets worse and worse every year. So uh, that's why uh, we decided we'd do Saw our way, and uh, you know, thank God it worked. Listen, we, we made this little baby movie, right? We all, we shot in 18 days with credit cards, with gum, with, you know, you want a deal here, give me a napkin, great, there's your deal, we're done. It was a race, nobody knew what we were really doing. So when we finished, we were just happy to have it finished. And uh, to me, it was it was exciting because there, there was interest. Lionsgate was kind of interested. You know, uh, a couple people passed, the Weinsteins passed, Warner Brothers or Warner Independent Pictures at the time passed, and uh, Peter Block and Jason were, were really wanting it. So we went to Sundance with it, it was great.